Henri Barrow, the 21st of September 1885 in Lyon, the 24th of October 1958 in Saint Clement de Belines, was a French novelist and journalist. He was sentenced to death, later commuted to life imprisonment for collaboration with the Germans in 1945. Topic: Life. Henri Barrow was the son of a baker. In 1903 he began his work in journalism. He joined the satirical weekly Le Canard in Chenet in February 1917, recommended by Paul Valent Couturier, and Roland Dorhelais. He renewed his old friendship with Albert Londres. He also wrote for Le Crapouillot, the magazine started by Jean Gaultier Boissière. He published stories, a short series L'Angoisse du Mercanti au la Compte du Tonneau in 1918, a study on Lyonnais humour, and especially polemical articles. He was also an international reporter at the Petit Parisian and Paris Soir. From 1934 to 1944, he later became known as one of France's best selling novelists and reporters, and won the Prix Goncourt in 1922. He was virulently anglophobic and to a lesser extent anti Semitic. These factors led him to support Vichy France. He did this by contributing pieces to the fascist weekly paper Gringoire, indicating his hatred of British forces and criticism of the Free French, although he also censured Nazism. His aid of the Vichy government caused him to be sentenced to death in 1945, but several writers, including François Mauriac intervened on his behalf. The sentence was commuted by Charles de Gaulle to life imprisonment. By 1950 he was freed for health reasons. He died eight years later. Works L'École moderne de peinture lyonnaise, Le vitriol de lune, Prix Goncourt 1922, Le martyr de l'Obis, Prix Goncourt 1922, Lazarus, Albin Michel, 1924, Cek je vous à Moscou, Les Editions de France 1925. Le Bois du Templier Pendu, Les Editions de France, 1926. Cek je vous à Berlin, Les Editions de France, 1926. Le Gerbe d'Or, Les Editions de France, 1928. Cek je vous à Rome, Les Editions de France, 1929. Quoi tu fait de ta Yoines, 1941. Les Laurens de Sables, 1932. Seal de Sui, 1933. Faux il redwier l'Angleterre en esclavage, 1935. Les raisons d'une silence, inter France, 1944. Les derniers beaux jours, plan, 1953. Portraits de contemporains. Retour sentimental vers Alphonse Daudet, 2001. Acrets dans Gringoire, 1928-1937, 2003. O Capuchin Gourmand Le Flaneur Salarié Rendez-vous Européens Les Editions de France, 1928 <laughs> <laughs> External links Novo Press <laughs>